Welcome to our guide to the waterfalls of Lake Superior. As the largest of the Great Lakes, Lake Superior has over 90 breathtaking waterfalls along the scenic drive. With so many to choose from, it can be hard to decide which one to visit. That's why we've created a list of our favorite cascades ranging from well-known attractions to hidden gems. Join us as we explore Lake Superior's waterfalls. You are going to get wet. Bring a raincoat. Welcome back to Love Nesters. We are about to show you a great video on the best waterfalls of Lake Superior. There are more than 90 waterfalls that are around Lake Superior and we've selected all the hikes that are less than two miles. What? Less than two? <laughs> Probably not every hike, but that's what we're going to highlight in this video. This will be a complete guide to waterfalls. So the way the video is going to work is we'll start each one off showing you the geographical location, we'll show you a picture of the waterfall, and then we'll take you along so you can decide for yourself. It's a place you'd like to visit. You pick! What a great thing. And then for every waterfall linked in the description, there will be a separate video that will show you all the other attractions there are to do around that waterfall. Are you serious, Clark? Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Hey, we are at Gooseberry Falls in Minnesota. This is one of the most popular state parks in Minnesota at over 1,700 acres. You can camp and bike, but the main feature are these amazing falls. They are spectacular. You can really get close to them. There's a great loop and that's what we're doing. Thanks for being here. We are at Gooseberry Falls State Park. It's right off of Highway 61 on the North Shore of Minnesota. Really easy to get to. The parking lot is right here and if you park in the visitor area, it's absolutely free. You have a wonderful visitor center and then from there you can do, you go right to the falls. So it's an easy walk and if you want to see the entire falls, you can do the loop. So what we're doing today is the loop all the way down, coming across and going to the high falls, which is approximately one mile. We are doing the falls loop. This is a great view of the middle and lower falls. And this is why you go to the dead end overlook. What a view. Hey, we are in Minnesota at the Gooseberry Falls State Park, walking across the bridge. This is a spectacular place to be. Highly recommend stopping here. It can be as quick as a 10 minute stop if you just want to run in from the visitor center, or you truly could spend a whole day here. So many trails to explore. All right, this is the most important tip if you want to see Caribou Falls. When you go along the river and you get to the park bench, you'll see this arrow. You want to take that direction to see the falls. Do not stay on the river. Do not take this path that's all the way over on the right. All right, so if you do this trail, it is not well marked. You'll see on the bottom, it's written in falls. You want to go to the left, go to the stairs. Wow, you come walking around the corner and look at this.
highly recommend that. Caribou Falls, it was spectacular. You could feel the mist on your face as the water was coming out of there at just an enormously fast rate. It doesn't cost anything to come here. It's free, you don't need a state park pass, anything. But what's great is it's a true hidden gem. It's off a wayside and people don't know about it. And what's awesome is there's no crowds. There's nobody here. So we're parked right here. We're gonna go to the first rapids, the High Falls. So it should be a half a mile there and a half a mile back, and it should be paved and easy. Okay, you can just tell that we're gonna get wet as you see how wet this walkway is. Just across the falls, on the other side of this river, is Canada. This is by far the most spectacular waterfall we've seen in Minnesota. Absolutely worth the trip. Love Nestor tip, bring rain gear. It is not raining here, but it is throwing off that much mist that it looks like it is. We are here in the springtime and it is just roaring. Hey, Grand Portage State Park, Minnesota, right before the Canadian border. Absolutely spectacular, easy walk. It's the first hike that we've done that they said was easy, that truly was easy. It might have, this might be the best waterfall we've seen. So far, more to come. So far. North of Thunder Bay lies a waterfall like none other. Named after the Ojibwe word meaning water falling over the cliff, Kekabeka Falls has been a source of awe for centuries and we were absolutely captivated by the raw power on display. Definitely worth the 25 minute drive west of Thunder Bay. This is above the falls. It's so much more quiet, but you can just tell you're about to go over a cliff. What an incredible place. This is one of the best waterfalls we've ever seen. It is incredible. A must see if you are a waterfall hunter, chaser. Waterfall chaser. It is the second largest waterfall in Canada, second only to Niagara Falls. And it's an easy, you can just literally get out of the parking lot and see it. You don't have to do a lot of walking. A must see. If you're enjoying our adventures, we'd sure appreciate it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, helps others to find it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here.
right, this is another situation where you're gonna get a little wet. Bring a rain jacket. This is how, oh my goodness. This is. Oh my God. Okay, if you go to the other side of the falls, depending on wind direction, you are going to get wet. Bring a rain coat. Rainbow Falls, a nice and easy walk. <laughs> As I say, going down the stairs, I'll let you know how it feels coming back. But uh, multiple level falls. The river is high, so it's been spectacular. A thumbs up from the Love Nesters. So when you come to Canada, it's right off of Highway 17, so it's easy to get to. And uh, this holiday weekend, there's nobody here, which even the park ranger was shocked how few people came out so thumbs up at rainbow falls you can get very close to the falls which is part of the fun here all right they said it was easy it's easy in that it's a boardwalk and it's stairs it's 179 stairs all the way up so just be aware it is spectacular but you are going to get your stairs in from my point of view, it's, it was easy to get to. Someone else thought it was a little hard. One of us is out of breath, the other isn't. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This is Agua Saban Falls and Gorge. There is a light mist coming off, so we're glad we put our raincoats on, but nothing as severe as Kekebeka. So we are at Mink Creek Falls. This is not a well-known uh, waterfall here in Canada, but it is beautiful. So these falls are located right off the main Lake Superior Trail, uh, Highway 17. We're not sure that's official parking, but that's where we parked so that we didn't have to park on the side of the road. And this is what it looks like. So if you look ahead, you'll see a Voyager trail sign. That's about all you've got to go by. Very rugged trail, but only about a five minute walk to get to the falls. We are at Tequamanon Falls in Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, Michigan to be specific. This is about as easy of a walk as you're gonna find getting in and out of the waterfall. This is Tequamanon Falls. Some people call it Root Beer Falls. It's flowing at a rate of 11.5 thousand gallons per second. 
Okay, as accessible as everything has been, we are now dealing with 94 steps. Yeah, this is a great way to get the day started. We're doing the 168 steps up and 168 steps down uh, to the Grand Sable Falls. It's a nice easy walk in to Sable Falls. Stairs are a bit of a killer, but it's a quick stop. So if you're trying to pack as much in as possible, we recommend doing that. It is about a 1.2 mile hike to see the 60 foot high Chapel Falls. The falls can be viewed from both sides of the river. These falls are in the town of Eagle River. They're right off of Highway 26. Very easy to get to, very pretty. Jacobs Falls, super easy to get to. It's right off of Highway 26. Like right, right there's the road. Bonanza Falls, right off of 64.9 miles north of Silver City. Michigan, the UP of Michigan is incredible. Every time we come up here, we find a new spot and the beauty is it leaves you speechless. <laughs> so Bonanza Falls is a very easy walk and it's literally a 10 minute stop. The falls are nothing spectacular, but the scenery around it is breathtaking. It is beautiful.
So this is an easy, easy trail. We are here. What we're going to do is go up the river, hit all, all of these falls, Mandindo Falls, Nogado Falls, and Mandaba Falls. I'm sure and you said all of those right. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked it up. Uh, so we're going to take you on this adventure, and then we're going to come back on the east side. And the east side's actually the little bit more difficult side of the river to go down. And then we're going to come across and actually go to right to Lake Superior. Should be fun. If we don't get lost. All right, so we are walking up the side of the river. So we're going up river on this track. This side of the river is more developed. You're gonna see more boardwalks, more uh, paved trails, but it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. They call those riverbed potholes. Kind of cool how the water swirls in there. All right, we made it to Manabezo Falls, which is named after a powerful Ojibwe spirit god. This is the top of the falls. One of the great things about this trail is you really get up close and all around the falls. So these are Mandito Falls. In the native language of the Ojibwe, that means spirit or ghost. You can see the mist coming off, just like a ghost. But here comes the money shot. So there are times where it really doesn't feel like you are on a trail, but they've done a great job of marking it with these blue signposts. This is now Wadana Falls. You made it. And then you walk across the bridge to get to the eastern shore of the Presque Isle River. Be sure and take in the beautiful views upriver and downriver as you cross the road. Now the East Trail is a little bit, little bit more rugged. It's, it's spectacular. Recommend you doing the loop. another cool part of this walk there is this suspension bridge which does bounce up and down if you have crazy people in your party and there's Lake Superior the river goes right out to Lake Superior the end of this trail if you want you can end up at the beach We are here at the Black River National Scenic Byway. There's supposed to be five waterfalls within five miles. And our plan is going to be to move the car and see all five of them as quickly as we can. All right, so the walk in is kind of an unpaved trail. So far, not too hard. All right, so the trail does get a little washed out and a little bit more difficult. This is Conglomerate Falls. We're here in late summer and it's still going pretty fast. All right, so Conglomerate Falls is a three quarter mile hike in 
and a three quarter mile hike out. There are no rest facilities at this place and there's, it's all downhill on the way there, but it's all uphill, very uneven terrain and steps on the way back. But it's pretty and definitely worth the walk. This is Pottawatomie Falls. All right, well, there's quite a few steps. It looks like we can get a little closer. It's totally worth it. There's a second viewing area, much better view, absolutely lovely. They are really going. Okay, so we have two falls down and three to go before it gets dark. That last one was Pottawatomie Falls. That was a pretty easy walk. Like I would say at most it was a quarter mile round trip. Uh, you can't see the falls very well unless you keep on going to a viewing platform. But once you're there, absolutely beautiful. So Gorge Falls looks like it doesn't want us to go down. But if you're ever here and you choose to do Gorge Falls, just know it's close to the parking lot, but there's quite a bit of stairs. Just when I thought we were going to have an easy waterfall. down to these falls, but you can get incredibly close to them. Very pretty sandstone falls. Going up is going to be interesting. Um, just really keep that in mind if you come here. The steps are on an angle and very steep and very uneven. All right, we did it. All the steps coming back up, but that fall was fun. I think we're going to make it before dark. One more fall to go. So Love Nester tip, when you see these markers that say scenic area, those are the waterfalls and they come up pretty fast. It's five falls within five miles. Oh dear, this is another trail that's gonna have a lot of steps. Five falls and five miles. We did it. We did it before it got dark. Highly recommend. Just be prepared for a lot of stairs. Rainbow Falls, 190 stairs. Thanks for being here. We would recommend doing the Doughboys Trail. It's a 1.7 mile round trip trail that will take you uh, around the falls and see it at several different angles. Copper Falls are nice. Really easy walk to get to there. The trails here are beautifully maintained. Um, I guess I would say they're easy in that they're paved, but you do have to be able to do steps, but it is a lovely trail.
If you have a suggestion for a great waterfall to see, please put it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're interested in more things to do around Lake Superior, we have attached a playlist at the end of this video. Thanks for being here.